Hey Joey. How's it going? It's good. Somebody requested an update on the pair of jubea, which we put in the ground when two, three, three weeks ago? Yeah, maybe three weeks to a month yeah. ago or something like that. I've had it in a pot for a long time. I've actually had it as a seedling. It was sent up from uh, Southern California. And uh, the, the, the pot was really root bound. It was a five gallon pot that it actually grew into. And a friend of mine, I was talking to him on the phone, he says, well, another Palm Society member has one in his garden in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And it's growing really good in the ground. He says, you put them in the ground, they'll actually grow a lot faster. And it is true. So since Wendy and I put it in the ground, it is growing faster and opening fronds. This is a mountain coconut from high elevations of the Andes Mountains. Uh, it can take colder temperatures, but not extreme cold and probably not prolonged cold. I'm guessing maybe minus six degrees Celsius, something like that. So it may need some help in the wintertime if we're going to get colder than that. I think it's easy enough to squeeze up the fronds right. and just throw a little bit of bubble wrap on it. Sure. Just, they called it a mountain coconut because I believe it does produce some cool. sort of edible fruit in time. So it's a pinnate species, meaning it's a feather palm. And... Uh, this palm would probably be best suited for northern coastal California and southern coast huh. of Oregon, like Brookings, so where they don't yeah. get the they don't get the frost. It has really narrow uh, fronds. Too. Really narrow fronds. Wendy thought it looked kind of sick, but it's not <laughs> sick. That's the way the mountain coconut looks. So if you yeah. can get a hold of one of these, this is Parajubea cocoide, <laughs> and uh, we are putting it to the test here on Salt Spring. It is Easter long weekend, and it is doing very well. And you can see the center. Oh, spears yeah. and it's, yeah. it's actually growing now it's so actually doing better it's doing better in the ground so it's it. a good thing to plant it New, and uh yeah we'll here. do another update in another couple of months from now New keep sphere. her watered well through the summertime and it's growing in a very sheltered location it is it's surrounded by cordylines um, and there's yeah, trees overhead protected it, but it yeah. does get a lot of sun here it does get a lot of sun and um, it's not going to get a lot of frost even in the coldest months so anyway we'll keep you updated and we'll see how this guy does on salt spring island okay all right thanks for watching aloha